Incidents like this aren't new. A similar collision more than 40 years ago at the Sunshine Skyway Bridge over Tampa Bay killed 35 people. After that, codes changed, requiring increased protection for all bridges built after 1991, like fenders and dolphins, which absorb impact, similar to your car's bumper. This national inventory tracks the condition of all bridges. It lists 4,200 of them that allow ships to go under the bridge. Of those, about a third are described as having functional pier protection, including the key bridge. But the inventory does not provide specifics about what that protection is or whether it could withstand impact like Tuesday's crash in Baltimore. Meeting today's code would require retrofitting and upgrades to the key bridge that was built in the 70s. Structural engineer Matthew Robles believes had a fender system been installed around or in front of the piers, Tuesday's collision would have been less catastrophic.